On today's video, we're going to fillet up this perch. I've got the Michael Jackson glove on, and since I caught this perch out on the ice, we're going to talk a little bit about using sonar out on the ice. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, in today's video we're going to fillet up this perch and we're also going to talk a little bit about using sonar out on the ice. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. First thing we're going to do is just kind of come behind this fin and angle toward the head, kind of get under the direction of those scales angle toward the head and make our first cut then we're going to turn that knife around and we're just going to go part way in maybe to about here and just kind of ride back along the spine of that fish we're just going to keep cutting like that just a, just a little ways in until we get past the bung hole then we're going to go all the way across and just kind of angle that knife down and hug that spine all the way back to the tail. Then we're going to open this up and just slowly work the meat off over the top of these ribs. You can see the fish's ribs kind of right there and we're just going to work over the top of those ribs. I don't want to cut through them, just want to cut over the top. Now, there is going to be some little pin bones in here that we're going to cut through, but that's fine. We're going to come back, we're going to take those out afterward. So we're just going to work along there and we're going to cut that off right there. And we'll flip it over. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Right underneath this fin, angle in, make that first cut. Work our way back until we get past that bung hole all the way across and right off the end of the tail and like I said earlier we'll open this up and we'll just kind of work our way up and over these ribs Off like that. Then we're going to set our fillet kind of right on the edge of the cutting surface. And then I know this is a bit overkill, but I got the meat hook to get a little grab on the end of that tail. Take our knife and we just want to shuck that perch right out of its skin. Go so nice and slow. You say it helps to be on the edge of the cutting surface. That way you can get your knife down nice and flat. And just kind of peel that skin off. And then the other one. And of course, you don't actually need a meat hook to do this. I'm being a little over dramatic because it's fun. There. All right. Now, the only bones left are those little pin bones. 
and they go right along this line and they go back about as far as the ribs did okay if you work backwards toward the tail of the fish you can actually feel them with your knife right along that line that kind of runs down the center of the fish and those are those pin bones that we cut through initially when we were going up and over the ribs so all we're going to do is just kind of take a little sliver out of each side of that line and we're just going to cut that off and then it's the same thing on the other fillet you got this line that kind of runs right down the middle of the fish and those little pin bones are right along that line so we're just going to kind of cut just a little sliver out take that out of there and then we have two excellent pieces of boneless perch they are going to taste awesome Okay guys, well, I caught that perch out on the ice the other day, and I gotta tell you, for over 25 years now, I do not go ice fishing without bringing along my Vexilar sonar. To me, it's just like bringing along your auger, or your tip-ups, or your jig poles. You just don't go out ice fishing without it. My first Vexilar was this FL8, and like I said earlier, I bought this over 25 years ago. And let me tell you a few things about this Vexilar FL8. It's an awesome basic sonar unit, and Vexilar still makes and sells these FL8 sonar units to this day. And they are essentially the same design as the one I have here that I bought over 25 years ago. And why would you change something when it works so great? This old FL8 has helped me catch a lot of fish over the years. And you know what else? This FL8 is still in perfect working condition. It still goes out on the ice with us, and it's still helping my family and I catch fish. And this FL8 has been through the ringer. It's been out in the cold. It's been out in the snow. It was actually tipped upside down in the water in the ice fishing hole one time. And then another time I remember, I was a little too anxious to get out fishing. I was towing a sled behind the snowmobile, going a little too fast. The sled flipped over and I remember looking back and seeing the battery for the sonar unit and the Vexilar kind of rolling to a stop, but they were separated. They weren't connected anymore. And I just kind of remember thinking to myself, how am I going to tell my wife that I got to buy a new sonar unit? But I hooked the battery back up and it was perfectly fine. I was fishing with it that night. So not only does this FL8 help you catch a lot of fish, it is super dependable. Now, several years ago, I did a video on how to use the Vexilar FL8. So if you're new to Vexilar sonar or you're just interested in the FL8, I'll leave a link to that video below in the description of this video so you can check that out if you want. Now I have since upgraded to this Vexilar FLX30 broadband unit. This one has all the bells and whistles. This one has an auto range feature, it has a zoom feature, and this FLX has a feature that allows you to adjust the cone angle. So you can have a real narrow cone looking down the hole, or you can have a wider cone looking down the hole. Now Vexilar has their own video that explains all the features of this FLX30 broadband, and they explain it a lot better than I ever could. So I'll leave a link below down in the description of this video that will bring you to their video if you want to check that out. Now you guys all know how awesome it is to use a sonar unit when you're out jigging on the ice. You got your jigging rod in your hand, you're jigging it in the hole, you got the Vexilar right by you, it's shooting down the hole, you can see the bottom, you can see the whole water column, 
you can see your jig, bait, or lure, and you can see any fish that are approaching it. And you also get to see all the interaction between your bait and the fish. So you're out jigging that bait up and down, you know, a fish comes along, sees it, maybe you're jigging kind of aggressively, and then you see the fish just kind of turn off and leave. Next time a fish comes along, maybe you slow it down, make it a little bit more subtle, and wham! The fish just hits it. So now you're kind of fine-tuning that presentation to match what the fish want. Sometimes that means jigging more aggressively. Sometimes that means jigging less aggressively. Sometimes it means downsizing the lure. Sometimes it means upsizing the lure. That's always changing, but that Vexilar sonar unit is going to help you tweak your presentation to match what those fish are looking for on any particular day. And you know another thing about being able to see those fish as they're approaching your bait or lure is you can get that trigger finger ready, okay? You can get that hook set, all set, ready to go. As soon as that fish hits, boom, and you got them. No more biting fish catching you off guard. And you know, a couple other things that I like to use the Vexilar for, once I'm out on the ice, I like to drill several holes in the area that I'm going to fish, and then I'll take the Vexilar and go around to each hole and scan what's down there. And that helps me to decide what holes I'm going to put the tip-ups in, or what hole am I going to start jigging at first. And then a lot of times I'll use the Vexilar to help me set the tip-ups. I get the Vexilar in the hole, I hook the minnow on the tip-up line, I drop that minnow down the hole, and I can see it dropping down till it gets to the right depth where I want it. Then I set the line marker on the tip-up line, set the tip-up in the hole, and I'm good to go. So my Vexilar helps me to decide what holes to fish in, it helps me set the tip-ups, it helps me be ready with the hook set, and it really helps me to fine-tune my presentations. And also, these Vexilars are bulletproof. So, if you haven't used sonar out on the ice when you're ice fishing, I highly recommend you give it a try. I will leave you a link to the Vexilar website. They have several different models of ice fishing sonar to match your needs and your price range. So guys, go ahead and check them out. Eat shark. Very good. So guys, if you're interested in more videos about getting out and enjoying the great outdoors of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, be sure to check out the entire channel. And if you enjoy what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And for bonus content, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to this page can be found in the description of this video. And also guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching and God bless.